A solemn moment reflecting on over 200 years of promoting the values of freedom and individual liberty. The America Independence Anniversary brought together officials of the U.S. Embassy, some American citizens, members of the diplomatic corps, and a Ghanaian delegation led by the Chief of Staff, Akosia Frema Opari. United States Ambassador to Ghana, Virginia Palmer, delivering her welcome address, took the opportunity to laud what she describes as Ghana's leadership in regional security and for being a model of democracy. Reflecting on what those freedoms are and what it costs to preserve them is what today is all about. And, and that's another way in which Ghana and the United States have important ties. Ghana's own independence struggle inspired countless of others in their quest for freedom, including in the United States. And your example burns bright in a time when there has been much democratic backsliding around the region. Um, the depth of our long-standing security partnership was highlighted when Ghana and the United States hosted Flintlock, a major military exercise that involved 29 nation militaries. And soon we'll be commissioning two ships and handing over a pier and millions of dollars of equipment to the Special Boat Squadron. And then finally, when Vice President Harris visited Ghana, she announced major programs on security, digitalization, and women's economic empowerment that look at Africa as a critical partner on issues that define the global future, new technologies, climate, and democratic growth. And the choice of Ghana as her first stop was very intentional, acknowledging not just our historic ties, but Ghana's leadership in regional security and on the UN Security Council and her model for democratic governance for the region and the world. Minister for Communications and Digitalization, Esla Wuswe Kofu, on behalf of the people of Ghana, expressed hopes of increased cooperation between the United States and the Republic of Ghana in order to accelerate mutual growth and development. From the early years of Ghana's independence, the United States has been a steadfast supporter of Ghana's quest for self-determination and freedom. The friendship between our nations has grown and evolved over time, expanding into various spheres of collaboration and cooperation. Economic cooperation has also been a vital aspect of our relationship. The United States has been a significant trade investment partner for Ghana, contributing to economic growth and job creation. American investors have and continue to play crucial roles in driving economic development in sectors such as energy, agriculture, manufacturing, and technology. I am informed that in 2022, Ghana-US bilateral trade reached $3.7 billion. Also present were ranking member on the Foreign Affairs Committee, Samuel Okujetua Blakwa, and Finance Minister Ken Oforiata, who are all looking forward to increased cooperation with America. I think really for me, you know, the U.S. exemplifies, you know, the issue of civil rights, dignity, and the rights of the people. And, um, you know, in the good times, also a country that has really led the flame, I um, mean, holding up the flame um, for democracy and freedom of the world. Um, difficult times um, these past few years, uh, but I think we'll all recalibrate and continue um, to walk lock and step. They were very helpful to us during our um, approval from the IMF, and we thank them for their continued um, solidarity with Ghana. And then I would also ask that uh, we need to uh, deepen our ties, particularly at the level of security. Uh, I want to see the U.S. Uh, work closely with Ghana to address uh, the threat of terrorism, the threat of uh, violent extremism, which has taken over the Sahel. And interestingly, all our neighbors uh, are, are, are crying for help, uh, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast in particular. And all our neighbors have been hit, including Nigeria, Togo, Benin. 
uh, and, and so and so um, we are virtually the last country standing. The United States Independence Anniversary was also an opportunity for merrymaking and some fireworks to which lighted up the skies of Accra. Thank you.